And this year, one year international feature and cultural festival held at AB local government area of Tarapa State witnessed the biggest fish catch weighing 170 kilograms with prizes given to the first to third winners in various competitions. Speaking during the two days festival at the local government area of the state, Governor Agu Kefas described the occasion as one of the nature's gifts of the state that is being showcased to the world. Correspondent Jude Nuhu Gundali filed in this report. Canoe racing, calabash swimming, and fishing traditional dance, among others, were displayed during this year Moyo International Fishing and Cultural Festival in Taraba. The festival, which was almost gone for exit in the last 14 years before Governor Agbu Kefes revived it, witnessed presence of personalities from all walks of life, including investors. Speaking at the event, Governor Kefes said that the festival has a long-standing history as well as reaffirming his administration's commitment to justice, harmony, and unity for progress. He expressed hope that the festival will strengthen the existing relationship among the people and secure the environment for investors. This festival has a very long-standing history, which a lot of people know that this history has a reviving way of uniting the people of Calabar State together. The governor of Adana State, the Right Honorable Umar Fintiri, who as the special guest of honor on the occasion, commended the government and people of Tarapa State for preserving the rich cultural heritage of the people through the festival. According to him, his government will partner with Taraba State in making the festival a tool for development. Let me employ this video to challenge the Jukun nation to sustain the dynamism that has evolved in the Muenyo Fishing Festival by incorporating that has by incorporating actions that tend to create more awareness in critical areas of agriculture, health, education, and economic empowerment. This will serve the purpose of globally inviting the attentions of investors to the multisectoral benefits of engaging the potential that resides in the land. Chairman of the occasion, retired General T.Y. Danjuma, in his remarks, said the Moyo International Fishing and Cultural Festival serves as a platform for fostering unity and understanding among diverse communities. He stressed the need for peace across the state to develop the festival to international standards. I like Moyo, and if you are expecting this festival to be truly international festival. <laughs> we must put our own house in order. We must have peace in our state. We must have peace throughout the country. There is no foreign person, there is no sane foreign person that will come to our country to celebrate with us if we continue to kill each other. In their goodwill messages at the occasion, the Minister of Arts, Culture and Critical Economy and the Senator representing Taraba Central in the National Assembly all spoke. This festival stands as a testament to the vibrant spirit and unity that define Nigeria. Festival is crucial for conserving the fish in the lake, thus ensuring the economic viability of the, the community fishery. The religious rites associated with the festival is also considered as a celebration of life. Realizing this kind of event, Your Excellency, I think it will 
go a long way to showcase not only our cultural heritage, but a lot of things that we have in this, our dear state, what we have a comparative advantage in. Help the Lord to revive this very, very important festival. I want to assure you that all the members of National Assembly were going to be your ambassadors. The ambassador of the Republic of Namibia in Nigeria, Humphrey Gaze, who was at the festival, expressed delight with the festival and prayed that it would grow to become one of the most important tourist attraction events in the country. I want to congratulate Dr. Kefas, Executive Governor of the state, for his initiative to revive this festival and to put this important festival on the tourism calendar of Nigeria. It is my hope that this festival will become one of the most important tourism attractions of Nigeria and that many tourists, both tourists, domestic tourists from Nigeria as well as tourists from Africa and the world will come to this great town, Ibi, to witness and participate in this festival. The 2024 One Year International Fishing and Cultural Festival got to its climax this Saturday with fishing, which recorded the biggest catch of 170 kg. The second biggest catch weighed 150 kg, while the third biggest catch weighed 120 kg. The first position received a vehicle, the second position got a motorcycle, and the third position got a grinding machine. Even as winners of various competitions and activities also received prizes. Activities that featured prominently at the festival include boats, regatta, swimming competition, and calabash swimming, among others. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.